I'm going to share all of me with you now. My name is Jenny Morris. I'm an author. I'm a radio presenter. I do television and boy can I cook. Good day. <laughs> How are you? Good. You're back. I didn't think they would be. <laughs> and we're back too. But they're back. <laughs> Welcome to the Cook's Playground with Jenny Morris and myself, Guy McDonald, and uh, brought to you, of course, by Smile 90.4 FM. So, what are we doing today in anticipation of Valentine's Day? Well, I'd love a chop. Well, there's quite a few of them roaming the streets of Cape Town, <laughs> I can tell you that for free. Not that kind of chop, darling. Okay. I want a nice plump loin chop. Yes. Okay. So I, it's nice tactile food once again with a lovely refreshing salad because remember February is the hottest month yes. um, of the year and um, so I want something light and delicious and once again this is not food that's going to drip and I think it's lovely to eat a chop in front of somebody to pick a bone. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing but whatever your kink, you know. <laughs> You do you, boo. You do okay, you. Okay, darling. So I'm, I'm heating up the, the pan. Okay. And while that's getting really nice and hot, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start on the dressing <clears throat> for the slaw. So I want you to take some fresh ginger and fresh a little ginger. bit of garlic. And this is a very, very fine one. So it's almost giving us the juice. Okay. So go, go, go. And while Guy's doing that, I'm going to talk you through the um, actual marinade for the chops, which is nice to do the night before because it really, really gets into the meat. And you only salt it while it's in the pan. So we've got some gochugang, that's a lovely Korean paste. Love gochugang. It's lovely, it's not too mm -hmm. hot, okay? Yeah. And we're gonna use honey, once again, ginger and garlic, a bit of soya sauce, a bit of sesame oil, some orange juice, peach juice, any kind of lovely fruit juice with it, pineapple if you want to. Or you could take a nice ripe pear and just grate it um, into it, which is really good. And a little bit of oil. Always a need big, a bit of oil. Biggie oily, yeah, biggie oily. Yeah. And then we make a paste with it and we just have a look at our chops, see? Do you want more that's, ginger? No, that's fine, darling. Okay, that, that's if good. I may say, was the greatest roll of my life. Was it? Yes. Now give me two... Uh, oh, we've got to keep grating. Give me some Ooh, garlic. Righty. Give me some garlic. And then I'm going to use mayonnaise. You can use Japanese mayonnaise. You can use the tangy mayonnaise. You can use a French mayonnaise. Any mayonnaise you want. You can even make it. But why should we make it? In it goes. Like so. That looks like yogurt. It does look like yogurt, and in fact, if you wanted to, um, and you didn't want to eat so much mayonnaise, you could put a little bit of yogurt with it and keep some of that back. Gotcha. Two of these, you said, Yes, eh? two, and then I want a little splash of soy sauce, and I want a bit of honey. So we could do that simultaneously. You do the soy sauce, and I'll do the honey. The honey bunny. Honey bunny, I like the sweet stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, that looks good. But none of it's dropped off the bottom of That's the That's okay, get your hand greater there. here. Yep. That's it. And now here, a little bit of honey, and it's honey to taste, <coughs> okay? This what you like, you want more garlic, you want more ginger. Ginger is a very, very stimulating ingredient. It's good for your circulation. I drink it every morning. It's nature's Viagra. Did you know that? I didn't know that. It makes your hair grow too. Uh, uh, <laughs> they, they say. Uh, this is a big they say. Better make sure my okay. wife drinks more of it than I do. Oh, I think, mm, all right, stop that nonsense and let's get those choppies into the choppies but we're gonna swap sides now get them um, in chop chop yes chop chop excuse the pun and um, right. while guys doing that i'm gonna put a little bit of soya sauce Listen to into that here. sizzle the pan must be hot now how do you like yours i like mine just off pink i like mine cooked well done <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah i think so okay um if you like to eat the fat then it's nice to turn the fat while he does the chop there. Um, everywhere a chop. Everywhere a chop, you chop. You chop, I chop, everywhere a chop, chop. Oh, MacDonald had a chop. Okay. And I've got a helicopter friend. Yeah. He's got a chopper. He's got a chopper. <laughs> and I'm known as the diva with the cleaver. So that's another kind of chopper. Oh, the rhyming. <laughs> okay. Lovely fresh mint. I like to use a lot of fresh mint. 
stuff yeah. in this and lots of coriander, but I mean the choice is yours. Not everybody likes coriander. Some people have allergies. Don't touch it now. I want to turn it one more time. Okay, turn it one more time. That's one more the problem time. with you, man. You keep wanting to turn it too soon. Am I right? Stop it. <laughs> now we're going to do this together. Some carrot. In with the carrots. And I'm going to go in with, this is um, peppers, beautiful right. rainbow peppers. You can use green pepper if you like, but it's a little, a little bit more stringent. It is, yes. Not as sweet. These are sweeter. These are sweeter. A little bit of kabash. Three kinds of kabash. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I just want to say how gorgeous I think these these um, onions are. Aren't they, they are. just the most beautiful little mm -hmm. thing? Aren't they lovely? Look at that. I love them. Isn't there a specific name for this type of, is, is no. it a charlotte? No, no, this is no, no, harlot, charlotte. For a small no, onion. No, that's just a small red onion, but you do get shallots. Shallots. The banana shaped. This is gorgeous. Yeah, they're nice and crispy. Crispy Looking fat. good. Looking good. That looks amazing. They are. I don't think this needs any other seasoning. I think this would be delicious. And what I would suggest is you've only put this together just before you're going to serve it. Okay? Just before you're going to start. To keep it fresh and crunchy. And, and, crunchy. And, and I'm going to now give you a beautiful big wallop of this. Over there. Look at that. Are you going to eat this all? The most exotic slaw I've ever Divine. seen. A little bit of spring on your knees. And we'll save some for your chops. Just a little taster. The flavor is so amazing. So nice. Really good. So we've got Yum. that. And now, Mr. Guy. What is that? You went this way. What is that? It's oh. Korean paste. Oh, is that the, the kunji uh, and the Korean paste? <laughs> That's what it is, <laughs> baby. <laughs> right. Okay. I wasn't listening yet. I was Look too busy that. burning the lamb. <laughs> Look at that. It looks sexy. It is sexy. Right. Not only is it come around sexy, here. it is absolutely delicious. Look. So for my dearest little guy, what I've done is some um, Korean-inspired lamb chops. They're really, really nice with a nice peachy Asian slaw. Can I bite into it now? Why not? I, mean, I thought you were never going to stop talking there. <laughs> hey, greedy boy. <laughs> 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 I don't know who brought the chops, but he knew what he was doing. He's a real bry master. And? That is lovely. Oh. It is beyond lovely. I'm happy to hear it. Of course, you're talking about me. How's the lamb? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. I think I might, might even have some more. Mm. Is it good? I'm not sharing this with anyone. No. No. Munchy, munchy. Come on, bite that chop. Show me how you do it. Get your teeth into it. And that's how you do it on Valentine's night. Get your teeth into it.